Hello Church in UBC, I hope you guys are having a good day today. Uh, the topic for today's devotion is called by God, with the accompanying scripture being from the book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 14, where it reads, For many are called, but few are chosen. I'm just going to jump right into it. So oftentimes as Christians, we like to tell ourselves something like, I just want to abide in the will of God, as in, God, anything you tell me to do, I'm willing to do whatever you say. But then sometimes what happens next is we don't hear anything until we don't do anything. We don't move. We become stagnant pretty much. But then if we look in scriptures, it tells us that our God is a God that opens doors for us. He's a light post for us. He's a light into our path so we may walk without stumbling and falling so we won't scrape a knee. And so when we become stagnant like that, it's not because our God isn't calling us. It's because we fail to hear it. It's because we fail to see the doors that he's placed before us. We fail to see the light that God so desires for us to walk in. Because even though he places, he opens doors for us, and even though he might place it right in front of us, he never forces us to walk through them. It's ultimately our, still our choice whether to walk in the light or outside of it. See, when I first thought about this, I thought to myself, the chosen are those that respond to the call to the fullest of their capacity. It's those that are willing to do anything, no matter how extreme. Those that say to themselves, God, anything that you tell me to do, I'm willing to do whatever you say. But then I realized that, I began to learn that just because we're willing, it doesn't mean we're ready. Because if we have yet to be faithful in the small things, we're not actually turning our ears to heaven. Because first and foremost, the chosen are those that know his call. Because if we have, because if we haven't, we, we first need to press into God and seek him in times of devotion and seek him through our prayer and, and his word. Because only then will we be familiar with him and be in tune with him and what he has to say and the calling that he has for our lives. So when we say to ourselves, I just want to abide in the will of God, when we put that to action, that means, God, I will seek you so that I will find you. Yeah. And then um, I know a lot of times we think to ourselves, we say, I don't have any time. Uh, I don't have the luxury to do what I want when I want. So how am I supposed to make time for God? in his word, in the Bible, in prayer, in devotion. But I believe that our God is a God that knows our hearts. And I believe that a rich man, a wealthy man who tithes a whole great amount of wealth will be blessed greatly. And I, But I also believe that a poor person who has next to nothing, who tithes his or her everything, Blessings abound even more so because God sees our hearts. And in the same sense with time and money, if you don't have any time but you give all that you have, if it seems impossible but you make time anyways, I feel like God rewards that and I challenge you guys. And then the last thing I want to share, uh, a lot of times we pray for stuff and we ask God for things and God responds in a multitude of different ways um sometimes we miss doorways because he responds in a way different than how we expect we think god acts in a certain type of way we think god moves in a certain type of way we want god to move in a certain type of way and if it's outside of that we fail to see it as something of god and so for an example sometimes we might want to hear god say something personal to us like jake go do that matthew go do this when sometimes the calling is as simple as, who will feed my children? Who will step up? Who will do this? Who will do that? And so, for me anyways, in 2018, I want to focus less on God's ultimate plan for my life and more so on pressing into God with my time, my effort, my emotions, and walking through the doorways that are in front of me right now. Stepping up not just in terms of leadership, but just in terms of ser service. And just approaching with a servant's heart. And uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully that was able to encourage you guys and motivate you guys. Uh, thank you. Y'all have a nice day.